Self-awareness is a superpower. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. My name is Kathy LaDonna and this message is what your life path needs to know right now. Before I get into the message, please give this video a thumbs up so that it could be recognized by the algorithm and it could help the channel to grow. Number seven, my message for you in these times. So I'm a life path, number seven, and I didn't prepare these messages. I am just sitting here speaking and holding these stones, helping them to ground me and just going with whatever spirit, you know, whatever spirit gives me to share. And my message for you, number seven, is that basically, in these times that is so challenging for most people, it's probably challenging for you too, but the whole social distancing situation is your reality. It is just who you are. You are naturally a truth seeker that needs time by yourself to go into yourself and find the truth for yourself, make sense of things for yourself. And you might find that in these times, there's a lot of different controversial information here, there, and everywhere. And you've probably come across a lot of it because of your ability to dig deep and find your own truth. When everything first happened, you might find yourself in disbelief because what you are being told is happening is not what you are, is not what you are feeling within yourself intuitively. And I encourage you to keep doing that. I encourage you to keep going within yourself and keep questioning what your truth is, because I find that there isn't a there isn't one universal truth. There is a bunch of truth that comes together to create the whole truth, meaning it's like the stories I hear about or the story about the blind doctors or the doctors who are blindfolded trying to figure out what the elephant is. So there's like five doctors and they're all wearing blindfolds or they're all actually blind and they're at different parts of the elephant. And yeah. so say one person is touching the elephant's tail, the tail is gonna feel different than the tusk and the tusk is gonna feel different than the trunk or the feet or the side or the leg or just feeling the, the skin or whatever. You know what I mean? So depending on where we're standing, where we're sitting, we're going to be having different experiences and it doesn't make one wrong or one right. As a life path seven, you have the ability to tap into yourself and bring your truth out. I feel like this is a great time to pretty much journal more than normal if you haven't been journaling because whether you are aware of it or not. As a number seven, we are highly, um, basically the number seven rules the crown chakra. So naturally you will have a knowing, you just know things. You don't know how you know, but you just know. And you might find that what's going on right now in the world is something that you knew was coming. You just didn't know it was gonna, you probably thought it was gonna happen a long time ago. Like for me, I thought this would happen in 2016 and it probably didn't happen the way how you imagined it happening. Cause again, depending on where you are standing um, and touching the elephant blindfolded, you're going to feel something different. So again, the different truths don't make one wrong. I feel like it is a collective truth. So my advice to you, number seven, is to meditate because right now the energies within the universe is so strong. And again, having to do with the crown chakra and just knowing things, you might be psychically picking up on the energy around you and the energy of the planet. And right now there's a lot of fear and uncertainty happening around us. And I feel like that could be very overwhelming for empaths and people who are in tune because you start to feel these attacks thinking that these emotions and energies belong to you when in fact they don't and you're just a signal and you are receiving all kinds of different information not knowing what to do with them so journaling and meditation 
will help you to know the difference between what belongs to you and what doesn't because journaling will help you to unload and then meditation and sitting in silence will help you to realize what belongs to you and what doesn't because out of nowhere you'll notice that certain and certain emotions just take you over out of nowhere and that emotion that takes you over out of nowhere a certain person might come to mind and then the phone will ring and their message will be in alignment with the energy that you felt coming from them. Or maybe they might feel some kind of an anxiety about reaching out to you because maybe they know that they can't just reach out to you with any kind of BS. So when them reaching out, it has to, you know, it has to be something of substance and whatnot. So they might feel a certain kind of pressure when it comes to reaching out. So before reaching out, they start panicking at the idea of reaching out and they send you a signal. I feel like we are very telepathic. We are able to pick up on the signals, pick up on the messages. And most of the times we don't even know that we're doing this. And with everything going on, like I said, with the different, um, the different controversial um, information that's coming out, and just the different beliefs and everything that's happening, it is important for you to sift through it all and find your own truth, something that you do naturally. And it's important that you have patience with the people around you because the people around you might not be on your level as far as free thinking. You are naturally a free thinker. You are not the type of person that gets told, oh, we'll have to take these vaccines and it just is what it is. You're not that person. If, if it doesn't make sense to you and you can't come up with enough truth to support that, then you're not going to go with it. And I think it's great. You should continue being that. But you have to be patient with the people around you because it's going to take them some time to get to your level of researching and making sense out of certain things. Like common sense isn't so common. And I'm sure you're finding that more now than ever with the people in your life where common sense, you're able to see everything play out. It's almost like, like say people are operating from a 3D, 4D reality and you're already in, in five, six dimension just seeing it. It's like before the move is made, you already saw it coming. You watch something on the news and everybody is falling for it. And in a trance bite, when you're able to see that it's a bunch of BS and they can't see it. And you pushing your opinion right now will make you seem like the crazy person. And that's okay because normally when you watch movies, it's always the crazy person that lives or makes it to the end because they just knew something that the others didn't. And while the rest of the sheeps are, you know, following, following each other to the slaughterhouse, you're off to the side watching like, shit, I wish I could save them. And you will be able to save a few by encouraging them to question things. Encourage the same way how you question things and look into things for yourself. Because if we were only willing to question things, we would find that, it's like you didn't have to look that far to make sense of a lot of things that don't make sense. And if something doesn't make sense, that's because information is being hidden. All of the truth isn't present. And the word conspiracy is something that a lot of you sevens might deal with. People calling you a conspiracy theorist or telling you that you are diving into conspiracy or you're pushing conspiracy. But what a lot of people don't know, don't understand, is that the word conspiracy was something that was created by the CIA. Look into it. Look it up for yourself. And the reason for the word conspiracy is just to shame people for questioning, for questioning what's present. And what I like to say to the people in my life, like me and my uncle was having a conversation because I shared um, some information with him. And he felt like the information, even though the source, the doctor who was speaking on the information was credible, he wanted to question the platform that was sharing the doctor's information. And I, and 
I feel like, why are you discrediting the doctor because of the platform? Where I feel like some people are just afraid of the truth because your truth might be so terrifying that it might force them to do something that they're afraid of doing. So a lot of people will stick with the lie because the lie doesn't require anything from them and they're too afraid to do what has to be done. But yes, a lot of the times people don't realize that a conspiracy theory, a, a person who's known for, basically a lot of people won't realize that there's small groups of people who control the truth, who controls their truth or what they want us to hear. So they're only going to promote sources that push their messages along. And they're going and they also have the power to discredit any other sources that goes against their agenda or the messages that they're trying to spread. So of course, it takes people like yourself and I to dig deep and then find the truth for ourselves and then make sense of it all for ourselves because most people, they just follow the leader and do as they are told and they don't realize that, okay, well, if one group owns most of the media sources and they decide what we all see and hear, then of course, if they don't want us to see and hear this information, then this information is going to be hard to find and more than likely the people who are pushing this information that might be for the greater good of the whole or might be the information that sets us free, they're going to discredit these people and call them conspiracy theorists. And I feel like people strongly associate with the number nine. I'm sure at some point or another, you were called a conspiracy theorist or something close to it. My, my advice to you in this time is to journal. Journaling will be very important because it'll help you to load off a lot of this unnecessary energy that you'll be picking up from around you. Meditation is also important because it'll help you to know the difference between guidance that you are getting from your higher self in the universe and then just fear energy that is within you from what's around you or probably just negative self-talk. What's also important is gratitude. Gratitude will get you in the right mood and gratitude will get rid of all fear and it will put you in alignment with source, with the creator, so that you can be in alignment with the right information, so that you can be in alignment with the right message and know what to share and what's not worth sharing. Because your insight and your ability to see things that others cannot right now is extremely important and will make a difference to our overall basically to the collective, you know, because people need different perspectives, but mainly you'll be an example of how important it is to dive deep and look up things for yourself. Find your own truth. I feel like the world is waking up to what is natural for the number seven energy to question, 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 question everything. So number seven, keep questioning, but it is important for you to align your vibration with the vibration of the universe, the vibration of the creator, so that you are in alignment with that positive energy so you can manifest positive things within your life. And I wanted to say, you know, with everything happening and career and things changing for most people, like this is a great opportunity for you to look into yourself and see how you can make a business out of your ability to dive deep and to question things. I'm sure there are groups of people. There are tens, twenties, thousands, hundreds, thousands of people who you'll be surprised who share the same perspective as you and will feel empowered to hear what you have to say, to hear what you think, to hear what you believe. So when it comes to career wise, like you might find that this with what's going on in the world, it might be encouraging you to do what you do naturally, to be a whistleblower, to be someone who dives deep, finds truth and share it with the rest of us. You know, if you have made it all the way to the end, I am extremely grateful that you sat here and listened to me blabber or channel messages through you because I'm just sitting in here, the rain is coming down and as it's coming to me, I'm giving it to you. Please drop me a seven in the box below to let me know that like 
we're here. You made it. You made it to the end. And please like this video, share your experience with me, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.